Okay, up and at him. Up and at him. We've got stuff to do. We've got stuff to do. We've got stuff to do, including checking out this room. There's a lot of things to see in this room. I think there's a lot of fun things here. Also, I guess we'll... Do I say welcome back? Not used to episodic encounters. But first off, we've got... We've got a lot of things. We've got a lot of things. We'll start with this book. It's a bookcase, also known as a cool word zone, or a thing you can't slight... Can't even slightly fill yourself. Steven, you'll never find a publisher and all the time you'll spend in your study is the time you could spend with your kids, depending on where you're from. A Steven is called out. Possibly several. A seventh stage try calculating quantum harmonizer. It was pretty expensive, but who doesn't deserve to treat themselves every now and then? Well, you know, Hat Kid's got it. And we've also got this, although I think this is for a later thing. Let's just bust that open. Still using a keyboard. I don't like it. You shouldn't play 3D platforming games with a keyboard, but lo and behold, here I am. Uh, we'll go there later, though, I believe. And then I think there's one last thing, and that is... Oh, two last things. Oh no, which one? I think this one was first. Ah yes, the VGS-1, the fastest, most most complex supercomputer ever to be built. Boot it up. Oh uh, yeah. You power it on. A world of computing delight awaits you. Greetings user, undefined user. Welcome to your home computing experience. Open application. Fun. Uh, internet first. Open application. Search. You have selected the search application. Enter search term. Oh, uh, what do I want? I want waffle. Waffles. Searching. Zero results for waffles. Your search history has been submitted for federal review. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm an avid waffle fan. Uh, sure. Closing search application. Application. Let's do enter. Let's do one more for internet. Surf the net. You have selected the web surf application. Unfortunately, the tide is low right now. Please check again later. Closing web surf application. Open Africa. We'll shut down for now. Shutting down. We'll check this out first. This lever does literally nothing but show how bright the nearby panel is when the power is on. It's stuck on really bright, actually. Oh, that's unfortunate. But anyways, probably the biggest thing here. Let's do some fun. Open fun. Open application. Oh, okay, fine. We'll do Earth. You have selected the Earth application. Earth, the greatest mystery of our time. Many academics subscribe to the theory that Earth does not exist. This theory is supported by the fact that it is, it's actually improbable, and that's just where science is right now. Giving further credence to the theory is, by all accounts, nobody can claim to have ever discovered Earth. There is only a record of people supposedly being born there, or being told that it is real. The prevailing theory is that Earth is a mass sh shared hallucination, and that we should really just take things slow for a while and calm down to see if it goes away. Closing Earth application. Okay. We'll keep going with fun. Reassurance is always good. You have selected the reassurance application. You are really looking quite nice today. Have you done something different with your hair? You're looking healthy. Well, you know, highlights and then I didn't like them so I erased them. Don't forget to clean up and keep on top of things. It can be stressful if tests pile up. You should go outside and get some fresh air if you can. It's good to get outdoors for a while. Don't forget to eat enough. Try not to miss breakfast. It's important. I'd recommend gears. It's natural to have flaws and aspects of yourself you aren't happy with. It's okay to work out on them at a pace comfortable for you. You have value. Take care of yourself. Be good to yourself and to others. Closing reassurance program. Application. 
And one more, we've got games. You have selected the text-based entertainment application. Open application, yes. And this, everybody, is an adventure in of its own self. Let's get started. You have selected, yes. I'll choose a game for my measurable library for purely non-visual fun. I have selected Corgi Quest 7, The Leashes That Bind. You are a corgi. Your name is Alan. You must sever the magical leash holding you to the plane of nastiness. Exits are northeast and south. Let's head south. You go south. There is a set of gates south. They are guarded by a prismatic wolf. Exits are north. Look. There is a set of big gates. They are guarded by an impatient looking prismatic wolf. Exits are north. Bearing slightly east-ish. Bark. You bark. It's really quite sonorous. The prismatic wolf rapidly shifts between spectrums visible and invisible. You're a dog, so you really only see two colors regardless, so whatever, I guess. It flees and the gates are now unguarded. It would probably come back if you left, though. Let's go south. You go through the gates and arrive at a glassy, grassy clearing. There's a large canyon here. Exits are north and south. Oh, uh, we'll go south. What's south? Further south. You pass a small field and arrive at the camp of a wandering blacksmith in a larger field. He introduces himself as Barry. Exits are just about in every direction, I guess. It's a field. Sock Barry. Well, let's look first. Doc. Let's look. There's a smaller field behind you and a larger one encircling you. Likely in a non-threatening manner. There is a camp here and I checked so I could say with confidence. You think the tent is gray. Barry is here also. Exits are literally everywhere. Burr, burr, burr. Talk to Barry. You talk to Barry. I may have mentioned this earlier, but it is a stretch to describe the noises you make as talking. He offers to make you a weapon and promptly does so. It's a sword for dogs. You have a dog sword now. Guess go north. You go through the gates and arrive at a grassy clearing. There is a large canyon there. Exits are north and south. Shall we jump? I mean... Oh, there's a look here. There's a slightly dry, glassy, grassy clearing. A large, sweeping canyon separates it from another glassy, grassy... I keep doing that. Grassy clearing, grassy clearing, grassy clearing to the west. There's a character in that clearing. Their name is Seven Conclusions. Well, let's jump to the conclusion, shall we? You attempt to jump to conclusions, but instead make a hasty judgment without considering the facts. You plummet into the canyon for several seconds before Seven levitates you on the other on their side. Seven is a wizard. You're on the other side of the canyon. Seven conclusions is here, dressed as very badly as wizards often are. There is a wizard's tower to the south, but it doesn't belong to them. Theirs, theirs. They both look incorrect in capital letters. It's yeah. I... Wow, that is yeah. That's right. Is on the plane of yellow. Exits are south. You could go east, but that would be swiftly followed by down. Well, let's talk to Seven. You make dog noises at Seven. They understand completely. The nearby wizard's tower should likely hold a way to remove that leash, they say. There's not much else around here otherwise. They continue. It's pretty sparse out there. Well, let's go south then. You arrive at the tower. There are wards protecting it, and boy are they doing that in a passable manner. Seven is here as they followed you. There isn't much else going on, they say. Exits are north. Let's go north. You are on the other side of the canyon. Seven conclusions is here. Dressed very bad. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, hang on. Go south. Um, bark. You bark. It is impressive on a scale that future civilizations will struggle to truly comprehend. Many scholars and academics will insist first-person accounts are fabrications, and that such a bar can never have ever heard, have, cannot have ever occurred. Seven's descendants will sue for libel successfully, get this, six times. Wild, right? I mean, well, Seven... The wizards degenerate a... The, the, war, the wars disintegrate away from the spell weave or something, and the tower is open. You enter the tower, it's airy and well lit, but that just makes it more obvious that the furniture is less of a handpicked furnishing and more of a collection of needed objects that someone came to own as they became necessary. 
You know what I mean? They kind of match, the effort was made to pick similar darkness woods, and the styles aren't completely dissimilar. You can easily tell from the wear and tear that, that some have been in use longer though, and the brackets long the brackets holding the longer shelf on the wall are brass, whereas most of the other metal trimming and pieces are iron. Seven has knocked has been knocked unconscious by a bugbear while you've looked at the furniture. Exits are not available, given that you're in, like, a fight. You sword. You wield your sword for dogs in a manner to which you're accustomed. Which, actually, you know how dogs use sword, right? I don't need to describe it. You slay the bugbear. Uh, I've seen a dog holding the sword several times. Twice. Twice, yeah. The stairs, which do not match any of the other woodwork, are unguarded. Seven is on the floor, but... They're probably fine. Let's head up. You go up the stairs all the way to the top of the tower. There's an altar and a magic books. Exits are down in, in various speeds depending on if you go a different direction first. Go Dennis? Go Dennis! You focus your inner spirit and take in the magical energy of the book and the altar before speaking the word of power. Power. You feel tangible reality slip away. In an instant, you are pushed Dennis ways. You arrive in. Thank you for playing the special demo of Corgi Quest 7. The leash is up on. What do you mean that was a demo? Closing text based entertainment application. Okay, and that, everyone, has been Corgi Quest. I believe there's an achievement that is tied to this, but. Well, time will tell, or I will tell. Future me will tell you. This mirror. This mirror doesn't. That's a window. But yeah, that's just a lot of fun. The most text I'm gonna read, but. <laughs> You know, fun text-based adventure! Is your bleeding edge top of the line audio device. Without it, you won't be able to tune in on all your favorite radio broadcasts like Acquaintances at the Table, Goodbye from Sunshine Town, and two brothers and also then also a third additional brother, myself. I got the last one, I don't know the other two. But anyways, well then, I guess we spent a lot of time doing that. Maybe we could do something short here. Do something short here? Oh, none of these are short. Actually, one of these is short. Okay, then we will do picture perfect. So, as you can see, you can align with either bird. You can do all the quests, but you'll s I'll talk about it later. That you'll get a score, and depending on your score will determine the outcome of this world. So, picture perfect. Battle of the Birds, starring DJ Gruz as Stylish Mentor, Little Girl as Mysterious Diva, and Moon Penguins as Hungry Public. Picture perfect. Wait, who is that? Welcome to the first day of shooting, darling. We need to transform you into the biggest movie star the bird world has ever seen. You need to become a diva. Who? That's why I've called for a press conference here on our moon set. You need to get out there in front of the cameras and electrify the public, darling. Get them really up and going for your movies. Once you've got them going crazy, Come back here and we'll show off our new prop. That's right. We'll unveil our new movie prop to the masses. Apparently the hourglass hasn't been invented. So here's how this works. You've got fan clubs. Wait, hang on. We want the sprint hat for this. So we'll go here. Take a picture there. We'll say hello to everyone. And, you know, start amassing our fan club. You call, darling? Looks like it's endorsement time. All you penguins out there know my name. DJ Grooves. And I'm telling you, this young girl here is the next hot thing. Guaranteed. Just look as she'll climb up this statue and rescue the poor puppy that has gotten stuck. Oh, no. Puppy must save puppy. Wait, 
Oi. Dang it, just get me the proper Dang it, this this puppy This puppy, you know, takes a bit. Puppy save. She helped the puppy down safe and sound. Too bad it ran off and definitely didn't break into multiple pieces. This is truly a diva I can get behind. Let it be known that this little girl is all about animals. Pro animals. So you join her fan club, DJ Grooves. Out. So yes, we'll be spending this time trying to get as many fans as we possibly can. Well, so let's get to it. We have to say hi to everyone. Get some endorsement. Like endor All you penguins out there know my name. DJ Grooves. Look at how street smart this diva is. She's standing in this sinister alleyway right next to some potential wrongdoers. You? Oh no. Danger is her middle name, and she's not afraid to step outside of her comfort zone. Hat Danger Kid. Okay. Very good. So we keep getting endorsements. Jump up here. Get the attention of the masses. Let's get this. Ooh, we got more wool. Yarn. Take a nice photo. And keep getting all the attention we possibly can. Wait. Do this stunt. Fail this stunt. I'm pretty sure this is a hazard. Does this, does this count as a workplace hazard? Is this work? Okay, well we failed that, but that is okay. That is okay. Oi. I think I'd like to double jump more. Oh, uh, with the sprint hat, looks like you can't double jump. Yeah, you can double jump, as opposed to, say, a regular hat. Where you can, yeah, you could do a double jump. It's up to you if you want speed or dis speed or distance we've got ourselves oh we got ourselves seller i don't think we have enough money but you know worth putting myself out there for what you got bud not everything i sell is of value I... oh scooter badge you will need this this is a requ well the require air quotes required item so i guess not really a required item but the game wants you to have it Nothing interesting nearby. That was me. I want to sprint, but like, eh. Get this brewing yarn. If you don't have the brewing yarn already, what are you doing with your life? Get the brewing yarn. Get the brewing hat. I'll make all your needs good. Nope, I said what I said. Nothing cooler. So keep getting attention from the press. They've got... You know, they've got things to give attention to. Call, darling. All you penguins out there know my name. Watch as she beats these hard-boiled card players at their own game on her first try. Let's see, three of spades? This game is easy to understand, darling. You just guess which number of card the other player is holding from one to ten. Which card do you think he's holding, darling? Ooh, ooh, hmm, if I had to guess, might be a C dot. Wow, fantastic, incredible! The answer is indeed three! Folks at home, you have just witnessed the stunning intuition of a true star! Make sure you join her fan club, DJ Grooves! Out. So, yes, you can fail a lot of these and it will affect your score. But what the score do I might hear you ask? Well, I mean. No, you probably didn't ask. Max Diva! This is going crazy, darling! Come over here and show off our new stunner. Our new pro Okay, oi. Watch the wires, but there's also a photo location here. Let's go to that. Let's go to that. Snap! There we go, get ourselves some more pawns. We're gonna need all the pawns we can. Um, 
all of those pawns. Get more attention from the masses. So yes, even though the things have presented yourself, you can still do a little bit more. And you know, might be worth collecting a lot of pawns. Anyways, here we go. Oh, Let's go at it. A short level, but a good one. And for that, picture perfect, directed by DJ Grizz. DJ Grizz is a stylish mentor, little girl is mysterious diva, moon penguins as hungry public. The reviews are in 57 pawns, 3 DJ Grooves tokens, and that'll all convert to points. Dig it. To add up there. There we go. So, 528 to 0 for now. We'll see how that fares much later. But I think that is everything I want to show off. We've seen a whole story and we've seen part one of DJ Groove's story. I think, uh, I think our old friend can, the owl will take a lot longer. So we'll wait on that. We'll do that for next time. So I guess we'll wait till next time.